While editing the footage from yesterday, I discovered something very unfortunate. This anamorphic lens is big enough that it covers the microphone, so they stuck a little hole on the bottom of the lens to kind of funnel sound to the microphone, but as a result, it's just like having a microphone pointed down. So like, in the car yesterday, it was picking up a lot of the air vent noise instead of us talking. When we were hiking, it was picking up a lot of footstep noise, and I'm not exactly sure what to do about it. We're at Bowling for Animals. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, what is it? Uh, it's an event held annually. Fundraiser. Fundraiser. For it's... Animal Wonders. Yeah, so they can feed the animals. So they can feed the animals. That's okay. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Uh, they'll live up on the trees in the rainforest of China. And uh, they actually have a third eye. It's called parietal eye. It's on top of their head. There's a little dot. Yeah, a little dot. Really? Yeah. Like, ooh, look at this birdie. Zapper! He's being so tolerant with you. He's like, no. He just, he just peed all over Jesse. We just did a SciShow episode about why clothes turn dark when they get wet. Yeah. That's hand though, you can't dig through that. I will try. All of these custom camera apps that I've been trying lately to to get better footage just bug the crap out of me. You guys have heard me complain about Filmic Pro in the past, and since then I've I think I've downloaded three other apps that are designed to allow you to have control over uh, things like shutter speed and ISO and just all of them are so buggy. Several of them seem to have a problem where uh, when you tell it to automatically choose the best microphone to use depending on which camera you're using, uh, rather than using either the front or the back microphone, it uses the one at the bottom that's meant for talking on the phone, and as a result, uh, my finger ends up on that microphone as I'm using the camera. They all seem to have problems with uh, exposure and focus changing even after you lock them. It actually kind of makes me wonder if if the problems are deeper, if the iOS software itself has these bugs and it's affecting all of the apps, or if it is just the case that all of these app programmers are bad. I don't know. It's frustrating. I don't like to be a complainy person though, so sorry if I'm being negative or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna try to get to sleep now, so I will see you tomorrow.